you also have a chance to go back to, to Connecticut and play uh, how exciting is it for you? you know, I'm very excited you know, for people back home to be able to see me play a college game or two college games. Expecting a big crowd? Yeah, huge crowd. Coach Bell said there might be some buses coming from your old school. Yeah, I think uh, there might be two coming. So. What does that mean to you? It means the world to me, knowing that there's the support from back home and everybody's still tuned in. I mean, I, a lot of people still talk to me about every game. I mean, people watch every game back at home, so people were getting the SEC network, paying for it uh, you know, out of their pockets just to watch me play. That means a lot. Uh, both, yeah. On the subject of back time, talk about your reading program. It's pretty interesting. Uh, I mean, you know, I just started it. You know, the uh, reading uh, scores in the city were real low, so, you know, I want to be able to do something, you know, to motivate the kids to be able to read and write, and, um, you know, hopefully they take it, you know, and run with it. You know, a lot of the kids get excited with the prize and stuff, but hopefully in the future, you know, as they get older, they'll just, you know, find reading and writing to be fun. And you had some success with it, you think? Yeah, a lot of success. Uh, no, actually, uh, I think I was a Kentucky fan growing up. <laughs> um, I thought about it, but I just, at the end of the day, I really didn't want to stay home. What's your take on uh, how you guys are playing as a team as you head off there? Uh, I think we are um, improving definitely every day. You know, we just had a good, pretty good practice going over our plays and stuff. Um, you know, I think we improved over the last two games, and you know it's going to be exciting going up there, and we're going to be ready to compete. What's it been like having Austin as a head coach? Uh, he's definitely, he's, you know, he's he's learning everything, and he, you know he works hard, and you know he's he's definitely going to help us on the glass. You know, he made a couple huge plays against uh, Mercer, so you know that he's ready for the college game already. It didn't take him long to get adjusted. Oh, you definitely, you know, you know, with him, you're either going to get a layup, dunk, or a foul, or both. So, does it change the way that you guys play from you know, the other four guys to, to have that element? No, I don't think it changes the way we play. I think it allows more spacing on the floor. You know, you either got to play the drive, or you got to play the dump off, and then if you play both of those, the kickouts are open. So, you know, it just it, it adds more to what we've already been doing. He's a guy that, that has that post presence, and, and like, he also kicks the ball back out. So, having a guy that can out. How important is that as an It's huge. You know, it just it keeps the defense on the heels. Do you think that having a, a big guy like that brings a little bit more of a pick and roll game to the table? Definitely. Like said, it wasn't there with, with Bart for a while, but this, I mean, he's just bigger than those guys. Obviously, mm-hmm. it adds a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Definitely adds a little bit more physicality, I think. With this opportunity in Oklahoma, UConn, and then two, two big names in college basketball, mm-hmm. how important is it for you, for you guys you know, to kind of finish on a positive note heading into the SEC? It's huge for us, you know. You know, we would like to get both of these games, but we need at least one of them. On the game winner, how difficult was your pass? I mean, it's just an inbound pass. I mean, you got a big guy in front of you, and there's not a whole lot of margin for error throwing it from the other side. Of the yeah, I mean, I think that dude that was guarding me was like seven one. So I mean, I, I didn't, I honestly didn't know who to pass, so I couldn't see over him. And then I just saw Dunn and he sealed his guy, so I was just like, no, I'm gonna get him the ball, and I'm gonna let him play, make a play with it.